two Wisconsin health care systems say they want to become one. What does that mean for you? As Gabrielle Mays found out, it depends on who you ask. She's live in Tosa tonight. Yeah, it definitely depends on who you ask, Ted. Theta Care and Freighter say that the merger will make them better, but one Marquette University professor is much more skeptical. We didn't do this because either one of us um, needs to find another partner. We did this because we think we found the right partner, you know, in terms of alignment. And Freighter Health and Theta Care say the merger will provide better and more seamless access to comprehensive, high quality care. We want to be, play a part in making the lives of the people of Wisconsin better. Uh, we will be Wisconsin based and we will be led by people who work and live right here in Wisconsin. It doesn't surprise me that from a business perspective, they want to make this decision. Lisa Graybert is a visiting research professor at Marquette University. She also spent 15 years in Washington, D.C. working on Medicare legislation. Many of these situations that have occurred in the past, it's not really in the best interest of the patient. She says hospital consolidation makes them less competitive. And so when they negotiate with insurers, insurers have a skewed table and so they're they really don't have the ability to negotiate when these types of large mergers are in place they she also says that could leave you the patient paying more out of pocket so freighter and theta care say that they're in the process of merging but we have to be clear that doesn't mean that it's a guarantee because the federal trade commission as well as state leaders have to decide if they approve. Reporting live in Wauwatosa, Gabrielle Mays, Fox 6 News.